if you do this with their can, right, and stretch it out, it's like doing this. If you do this and go down the can, you enter. If I say, uh, let's say David calls me over, it's obvious the quickest route is here. But what if I go, yep, yeah, I'm coming. <laughs> to me, that's what you're doing without realising it. Mm. You're making a long way round, but we're talking about centimetres, not metres. So if you watch me slowly, if I do this and I start coming out here, he's coming round there, so he's getting offline to cut me. So it's no good me, it's no good me going in sort of here, because he's, he's there. What I've got to do is I've got to decide to the good old sat nav, do a U-turn when possible. I've got to do a U-turn so that I actually keep him going, but I line up where he is, not where he was. But to do that, I've got to do a very tight turn because it's all in motion. If I do a big turn and, this, and add that to it, it it's difficult. Yeah. Okay. And then he just takes the ball and goes close. He has no choice in it. I take what I need. If I do it um, the way you're doing it, and I go out here and then I go in and push him, he might go, he might not. This is something you cannot teach, but all I'm trying to teach today is how tight can you make your movements, how small can you make your movements without moving, you know, without a, a, an action be, being seen, an action being seen. These are actions that everyone can see. If you just go, you go, oh, that was tight. You know, oh, that was fast, that was tight. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to do maximum in minimum space. If you do that, then you've got to, uh, many answers to many things. This is the same really as the, what we've been doing with the Kenan If I, we come through here, of course, you can't get anywhere with it, but it's the surprise of the attempt. You come to it here, and you, and you then turn. And what happens is the action is it sort of throws you out because of the weight of his body. If you've been learning the sequence or been teaching you correctly, you've learned how to punch your hips in a confined space. If you try to step, they'll block you. Right, so this is a very good one for going one. See, I'm working in no space using maximum hips. Okay. And then you can start, because you've now learned power, control of power, you've learned, you've learned how to swing the joe and how to move the body. <coughs> So that is what we're trying. They're holding nice and strong. You know, they're coming through and holding that here. You're going to, that's reaction. This foot tries to do that, it goes forward. You try to turn him, and you're going to find, usually you're going to find him strong. You're going to think, what do I do wrong? And straight away it's that. So you go here. So this is an empty step without you going there. One, and you're going to now twist this down there. Right. So you're going to learn how to work within a restricted, uh, confined space. 